Hey folks, Redneck Girl coming back at you here with some more ESO. Put a short note real quick. So, I uploaded episode 3. I am going to skip the video I had recorded for episode 4 as I don't think it turned out real well. Um, so, I'm just going to apologize ahead of time. Um, I'm going to be working on some of my editing and... Um, trying to make this a little bit better my editing skills are not the greatest but such is life um i'm also going to be changing up a few things as far as um this is the only way you'll see me in the game um is if i go to this screen where it's just me no game um but just a little rundown of where we are at so, while off camera, Nathala made it to Balmora. Um, she, there was a nobleman outside that flagged her down, um, I guess because of her kind of mismatched gear, kind of looking like a little rugged. He assumed her to be a sellsword. Um, she, he offered her pay in order to swipe the key either out of his brother's house or off of the foreman um, for their egg mine. And he wants her to uncover and see if his brother is doing anything underhanded. Uh, she agreed. I mean, after all, it's payment. It's doing something she's quite, she feels she's quite capable of doing. And so she agreed. But the first thing she did before she, during her search for the foreman, she went ahead and found um, some information for Lord Vivek that he was wanting, um, which so far has proved to be very helpful. She, uh, sorry, it's been a couple of days since I played. I uh, pre-recorded several episodes. Um, so she found that and then she found the foreman but her ego got the better of her she thought she could swipe the key no problem ended up being caught so she ran <laughs> so she learned very quickly that she's not as good as she thought she was so where our story will begin today is actually her outside the town. She uh, has been hiding out, trying to stay away from uh, the Balmora city guards, uh, the house guards, considering the fact she's currently a wanted woman, all for seven gold. That's all she would have been fined. But she's kind of petty. So, um, But during her time out, she did learn about um let me get you switched over here she did learn about the thieves guild so there isn't one here but she did have someone point out to her uh where one is back here in vivek city the what they call the outlaws refuge so that will be her first taste of being a thief even though she's done some thievery work and stuff before. So, she's been hiding out for a while. Uh, house guard. So, this is this is the guy she tried to swipe the key off of, Foreman Knox. Um, but she's not going to go that route this time. She, uh, she doesn't want to risk it. Um, so she's going to try to get Benar Rethin's key, which is the brother. She doesn't want to miss. The other thing was, um, the Redder and House was looking for hired swords as well, and they overheard her talking to um, 
talking about being a sellsword to um, uh, the nobleman. And so she was also hired by uh, counselor, one of Counselor uh, Eris's men to uh, find his daughter. So she's supposed to go speak to him as well, but she doesn't want to mess with that. So let's see. Rethan Manor House. And when she looks at her journal, that's what she has, the information she has written down um, as to where she needs to go. She's tempted to try again, but she's hesitant. Um, okay, um, nobody is going to stop me. Okay. <coughs> Veterans. Weird people. Uh, I'm here to talk to the counselor. Councillor Eris. Yes, Sergeant Faltris sent me. He said you need help finding your daughter. Well, it's simple. Your daughter knows your people and their tactics. She doesn't know me. can handle herself, but her father worries, you understand. Anyway, I agree with your assessment. Tell me what happened. They have fled after a family disagreement. She's run away before, but I'm concerned that she might have something more permanent in mind this time, and more dangerous. Bea knows how to evade the house guard, but as you said, she doesn't know you. All right, I'll try to find her. Captain Briven oversees the house's attempt to locate my daughter. You should speak to him and see what his investigation has already turned up. Alright, so where can I find this Captain Briven? He's probably patrolling the town square at this time of day. Briven's soldiers have been trying to get information out of Vea's friends. Those young men and women are almost as good at avoiding the house guard as my daughter. You mentioned Vea might be involved in something dangerous? Vea has always been fascinated by the Morag Tarn. And admired one of their agents when she was growing up. It's possible she sought refuge with this agent, or even decided to join the organization. So I hope I'm wrong about that. Alright, I think that's all I need. I have a feeling I know which agent she's referring to. So if you watched the first episode with Nathala, she met a member of the Morai Tong. Um, good day. Oh, uh, forgive me.
Come on, Skitter. Let's go see if we can find where this other place is that we need to go to. Mm, orcs. Let's try the other side. Still not the right place. Who are you? Huh. I don't want to talk. Huh, whatever. Yes, it is. <laughs> they must have it boarded up. I wonder if there's another way I could get in there. Nope. Hmm. Looks like that's the only way in. Looks like I'm gonna have to try to swipe from the sky again. What the? Oh. Stinking rain. Crud. No. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. What happened? Let me see. I just tried to pet it. Damn, don't fit me. Leave it alone. There's something strange about that. Let's see. Oh. Here you go. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Thank you. Gotta get this key. I've got to, I've got to, I've got to. Let's get her hush, go. Almost. 
Hi. Crud. Not doing anything. Got it. Where did it go? Someone help me. Okay. Uh, Captain Privet. Not now, Outlander. If you need some sort of assistance, go find one of the house guards. Uh, Councilor Eris sent me to f ask you about the investigation to find his daughter. You must be one of the freelance so they employ to supplement the duties of the house guard. Very well. I'll tell you what I know. Rhea ran away. Again. I hope you can succeed when my troops have failed. If anything happens to Rhea... Sounds like you have a personal stake in this. I've known the Relic family since I was a child. Rhea is like a sister to me. And I'll do everything in my power to get her home safe and sound. Trust an outlet. We think her friends may know what she is, but they keep eluding us. Maybe your friends will be less suspicious as I approach them? As long as you don't get too close. They've been running notes of late. I think it has something to do with Veil. The runners keep evading my guards. Look for a group meeting on the other side of town. And see if you can follow the note. I'll see if I can follow it. Will you find Veil's friends? Remember to keep your distance. You just want to spot the note carrier and follow him to whoever is receiving these messages. That's the key to locating Vayner. If you can't do it, don't worry. The house can handle it. I can handle it. So, let's see. Where did he put on my map? Ah, okay. So, it's on the other side is where he put the note marker that I needed to be. Oh, boy. I'm starting to feel more like an errand girl instead of a warrior, or a fighter, or whatever the heck I want to call it. House guard. Is this little elf going? I saw you head across the bridge toward Vayus. Dreadless. That laggard? I suggest you go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least I got you the information about Drevis. Well, let's go see if I can catch the next note that's coming out. Surely they'll send more than one person.
She dropped it. Someone else took it. Shit, I lost him. There they are. Around here, where did she go? Well done. Yeah. This should help us determine what happened to Bear's brother. I can hear him upstairs. You. Hello, can I help you? We don't mind. You're one of those hirelings house reverend pays to harass us simple folk. What where travels fast? Look, all Bear wants to do is to find out what happened to her brother. Too bad the house doesn't seem to care a sweat about any of that. Councillor Ares just wants to find his daughter. Will the note you receive help me accomplish that? Vale wants nothing to do with the house or her father. Why can't any of you respect that? Even if I wanted to help, I haven't seen Vale since she snuck out of town. We communicate by notes, and this one isn't even about her. What's it about, then? If you must know, it concerns Vale's brother. He was an officer in the house guard before he vanished without a trace. Trying to help Vaya find him. So who are you delivering this information to if you weren't in contact with Vaya? A local tough. Goes by the name of Ashur. He delivers the letters. We usually meet him outside of town to the northeast. But good luck trying to get any information out of him. Ashur is not known for his conversational skills. Well, I can assure you I can be very persuasive. I think we're done here, don't you? I told you where to find Ashur. He's been passing our notes on to Vaya. Just to the north and east, outside of town. Or is this your way of offering to save me a trip since you're headed his way? Why have you been voying House Redder and Soldiers? You think I'm just going to tell you all our secrets, Outlander? Well, that's not going to happen. I won't betray Thea. Fine. She's not going to risk trying to intimidate him. I may just tip it off to the guards anyway. <clears throat> okay, where did he mark? There. House guard. Huh. I'm behaving, I promise. You're in your dreams. <sighs> Guess what that means, Bedlam? What? 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 Uh, no, you don't. That's it. Kill the Morag Fog in any way. No, you don't. Die, you sweat. Ah. Gotcha. <laughs> Serves you right. Switch to that one, it'll work better. Stinking scum. Asher. I had that situation under control. Jesse needed them to make the first hostile move. Still, 
I cleaned enough blood off my axes for one day, so thanks for lending a hand. No problem. I was told to meet you out here. You were worried. Was it Melissa? I told her I'd close out my tab after I completed another contract. That woman has the patience of an anxious phoenix. Well, tell her I'm good for it. I'll stop by and we can conclude our business cordially. Uh, no, I'm here about Veo. The new apprentice. Now, why in the field do you think you can Veo? My own business, but just know I'm trying to find her. Are you now? And why do you want to do that? Uh, never mind, I don't really care. I was asked to pass along some notes, but I'm not really the messenger today. I suggest you talk to Vea's mentor. Last I heard, she had a job in the Western Rooms. Alright, I'll go look for her. Make sure you don't anger Vea's mentor, or even look at her the wrong way. She's grown surprisingly protective of that young woman, and if she thinks you pose a danger... Besides, I hate to see you wind up on the wrong end of one of our wits. Okay. Um, so, why exactly were those town folks trying to kill you? You know, the usual bias remorse. I see a lot of that in my life. Well, turns out, I had to kill a bad man who did bad things. The rich is legal, but not all. Unfortunately, his brother didn't see it that way, and he was looking for living. So, the typical nobility. Alright, farewell. Okay, well, let's go take care of this mine business. Get rid of these stupid nests. Just a hunter. Nick socks. See if I can avoid it. Oh. Get rid of these stupid 